always remember where you parked. Welcome everyone to another episode of The Bright Side. Today we're at Universal Studios Florida, so let's go check it out. Even at 3.30 in the afternoon, it is quite busy. The crowds are still pouring in to Universal. They are pouring out as well, so I guess it's kind of balancing itself out. But this is our third and final trip to Universal this holiday because there's a few little bits and pieces we wanted to do, including the E.T. ride, which is a classic. It is the last remaining opening day attraction here at Universal Studios. So that is definitely on the list. Tilly wants to do a few more Harry Potter things and AJ wants to do some more Dr. Seuss things. So we've definitely got an action-packed afternoon coming up. Wall-to-wall -wall people heading through City Walk. Over there is the Hard Rock Cafe in Orlando. There it is, the famous arch here at Universal Studios. We're gonna be walking right in underneath, go through the check-in, you know, with our ticket, and then we're free to roam the park and do some ride. Ah, uh, we're in. As of a recording of this, they are getting ready for the Halloween Horror Nights here at Universal. We won't be here for the opening night, unfortunately. We did do it a few years ago before we were YouTubing, so we don't have any footage of that, but it is definitely a fantastic event, but it's not for the younger guests. It is really, I think they kind of say 12 or 15 up, something like that. It's, uh, it's definitely uh, more gore and horror as opposed to like Disney's, which is family suitable. Okay, now it's not too terribly bad, but wait time here for Despicable Me Minion Mayhem is only 40 minutes. So we're gonna jump in line. We've actually never done this before, so, uh, because usually the, the wait times are quite long. So we're gonna jump in. Can't film any of it though, which is a bit sad. That fan up there is kicking nice. Goodness! Okay, well that was fun. It was just like a, a giant simulator. Yeah, good fun. Who suffer the consequences? Oh yes, look at this. I wanna drive that. You wanna drive that, yeah. yeah. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? And then you got this one here, look. No, not much. You don't like that one so much? Just outside of uh, Mel's driving. This will be one of the scare zones for the Halloween Horror Nights. So basically, you kind of, as you walk around the park, certain sections of it are all uh, themed to some sort of unmentionable horror. We're heading towards E.T. Adventure, one of my favorite rides here at Universal Studios. And all this section here, newly opened DreamWorks Land. We'll have a little look around there in a minute. Oh no, the ride might be down. There is no posted wait time. We'll have to just check and see if it's uh, open or not. Yes, it is open and functioning and it's a 25 minute wait time. So that's not too bad. Getting in line for one of my favorites. Part of the course of Universal, I won't be able to film on the ride. Okay, I will be able to film a little bit of the queue basically walking through a forest which is amazing and with these ID cards we've given them our names and then at the end of the ride ET says your name which is very cute again I won't be able to film that bit but it is uh, this is an awesome attraction glad it is still here All the creatures of the green planet are in grave danger. Wonderful ride. Message to Universal. Never, ever, ever close that ride. It's fantastic. Got all the E.T. merch here in the shop. T-shirts, some plushies. <laughs> Be good E.T. mug. 
fifteen dollars. All right. While we're here, we're gonna pop into the SpongeBob SquarePants store, which is quite funny. The kids want to check that out. I do like the front entrance. Maybe I'll uh, get my own uh, house to look like this. That'll be cool. AJ's trying to eat a burger plush. Good job. Kids are heading into the pineapple home. A bit of the dance around. <laughs> oh yes, this is really me. I quite like that shirt. Oh, it's a ruse dance. I've got a couple of those. All right. I like that. It'd be a few dollars. I'm not going to buy it, but um, yeah, nice. One of my favourite characters in SpongeBob. Brilliant. Right, heading into the newly opened, as of the recording of this, DreamWorks Land. So you've got Shrek. You've got his swamp and his house up there. There is some sort of um, small coaster up there. In fact, I can see the rails, the tracks for it. I mean, some snacks here. Swamp snacks. Sounds exciting. Oh, it's a bit glared out there. What have we got here, Mama Bear? It's a bit We've glared. We've got a Shrexel. A Shrexel, yeah. Which is a Shrek pretzel with green cheese. Yeah. A Far Far a Waffle, which is a, like a pizza waffle. Oh, I could eat that. Pizza sauce, uh, mozzarella, pepperoni, stuff like that. My dove, I could eat that. A Swamp Dog. Yeah, I could eat, I could really eat that waffle pizza Okay, thing. well, we'll go and get a Swamp Waffle. Yes, yes, yes let's do there. that. Yes. yes, I've got my pizza waffle. Feels quite small for $11, but then it is theme park prices. Sure, it'll be delicious. Okay, we're just gonna take advantage of this little bench and consume our treat. So AJ, what did you end up with? Mm. Oh yeah, it's like, um, what's that? Chocolate other? pudding. Chocolate pudding, it's like a worms, uh, worms, and dirt. worms and dirt, that type of thing. Yeah, look at that, that looks awesome. Tilly's got chunky donkey ice cream. Donkey ice cream. Uh, like it's like a chocolate lolly, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. You can see by the size of my hand there, my thumb there, waving at you. This cost eleven dollars for this pizza waffle. So we'll see what it's like. Del Bell went with a, a swamp dog. So obviously a hot dog there, which looks pretty nice. I like the look of that. I think that was slightly cheaper though than that, wasn't it? Was yeah. it like nine dollars? Nine dollars. Nine dollars. So what so... we didn't get was the like the Shrek pretzel. Yeah. But essentially, a pretzel's a pretzel. Well, yeah, that's right. So, so I just wanted to try something a bit different. Yeah. And you can have half of that. Have half, and we'll trade. And then we'll trade. Excellent. Okay, I, I like the idea of a, I do like the idea of a pizza flavoured like waffle. It's not great, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's, it's quite tasty. It is quite tasty, but it's, it's not, it's not fantastic. It's definitely not worth $11, absolutely not. Yeah, I wouldn't have this again. How is it, Age? Good. Is it delicious? Mm -hmm. Yeah, how's your dog? It's okay. Is it all right? I mean, it's like pizza dough, yep. really. It's quite flavourful. I think I've probably got the better end of the deal out of the savoury snacks. Yeah. And Matilda? <laughs> thumbs up. Your, your standard thumbs up. Excellent. Okay, you're going to check out the uh, Swamp Dog. Quite tasty. I, th I prefer this, I think. This is definitely better. Slightly cheaper as well. Again, probably for what it is and the money. No, not, not value for money. Definitely not value for money. Meh. Right, just while the kiddos are finishing up with their little treats, I'm just gonna have a little nose around the park. I know that there is a, uh, like a, a play park area here called Shromp, uh, Shromp. Make, make that Shrek Swamp. Um, for the little ogres it states there. So that all looks quite fun. And over in this direction, there is a little small roller coaster. See what the wait time is, but uh, AJ is keen to go back to the Minions, uh, the Villain Con blasting game, which we did the first day we were here. He really, really wants to go and back and do that, and it's only got a 10 minute wait, so I expect we'll probably end up going back there and doing that and skipping out on this. As it stands, the Trolls roller coaster is a 60 minute wait. So that's quite a wait for probably a you know 90 second 
roller coaster. Our time here is actually a little bit finite because we didn't come to Universal. We were doing other things this morning off camera. Um, so our time here at Universal, we've only been here since like about, I want to say about half three, if I remember rightly, something like that. So this park actually closes at six, I think. So we haven't got too long um, before it closes. So we're just kind of skirting around, doing a few little bits that we want to do, and then probably head over to Islands of Adventure. Okay, I have no idea what this is. I'm just looking around. So there's like a big uh, splash pad over there that looks fun. Another splash pad. Maybe that's all this area is. I think there must be some sort of show over there. Let me investigate. Yeah, it's closed currently, probably a little bit late in the day, but there is Poe Live here, which is a live interactive experience with Poe, helping babysit his cousin Ling Ling. I'm not too familiar, to be honest, with the Kung Fu Panda franchise. I have seen the original movie a few years ago when it came out, but I haven't seen any of the follow-up movies. So, uh, right, I'm gonna rejoin Shelley and the kiddos. Kids have changed our plan. They want to go over to Shrek's Swamp, the little play area here. So uh, that's what we're doing. Oh, well, the floor is all wobbly. That feels really strange. AJ's going to come back very shortly because he's tried to go up like the climbing net, but he's a bit too short. <sighs> I knew this was a waste of time. I want to kill aliens. And another change in plan. We are at the back end of the park, ready to hop on board Men in Black. Like an alien blasting game. We did it on our first day here at Universal a couple of weeks back. It's one of Shelley's favorites, so we're gonna head on board. Right, little AJ just had his height check. He is good to go. Hey, first, as you scheduled tennis court thing, did you know in just 12 short weeks, I can be earning And I will never forgive Universal Studios for closing the Back to the Future Simulator, which was one of the best rides here. What a shame. Now, it's the Simpsons ride, which is fun. I've got to be honest, it is a fun ride, but uh, definitely not as good as Back to the Future. Oh man, I would love to uh, cruise around in one of these. Imagine cruising around in a DeLorean, particularly if it's all fitted out as a time machine. How amazing. And there's the train from the third instalment of the Back to the Future films. Excellent. Back onto Villain Con. AJ really wants to do this. It's only a five minute wait, which means it's a walk on. So uh, we're going to blast some creatures. But again, can't film it. My goodness, it's like a big alligator in the tank. I could see Shelly wearing those. Wow, wow, wow. Who is the bigger villain? You were the bigger villain. I'm the better man in black. The crowds are streaming out of this park now because this one's closed. So we're gonna stream out with the crowds along with them and we're gonna head into Islands of Adventure. It's a wrap. Although it's not because we're um, only about halfway through the video. Give or take. Okay, we are in, we are in Universal's Islands of Adventure states here the adventure begins again as i stated last time absolutely love the theming through here this is brilliant yeah it's nice right, what we are going to do first however is that we are uh, we are quite uh, thirsty we're going to head into starbucks for a quick beverage
at the size of this 30 ounce masterpiece. Oh yeah, that was a much needed refreshment break. We are now heading into Zeus Landing. Yeah, the wait times here have dramatically increased because with the other park closing, everyone who's intending to stay on site comes over to this park. So of course all the wait times go up. Well, that's okay for anything we want to do. We'll just get in line. I do love these trees. I'd like them planted in my uh, back garden. I think they would look awesome. Okay, 35 minutes, but uh, AJ really wants to do this little track ride. So let's do it. Oh yes, that was my favourite ride so far. I loved it. Leaving Zeus Landing and heading up now towards Harry Potter. All that stuff. Entering Hogsmeade, the wizarding world of Harry Potter here at uh, Universal's Islands of Adventure. It's still very hot to have all that snow. How amazing is that? As expected, a plethora of people up here not sure what we're going to get done, but Matilda wants to have a, uh, what do you want? You want a bag, don't you? You want a, um, like a backpack, a Gryffindor backpack, don't you? So that's uh, something that we need to procure. Right, Mama Bear has just taken the kiddos into this shop. Dervish and bang, bang, bangs, bang, what, bang, I don't know what that is. I'm too tired now, how do I get in? I can't even get in the door. Okay, we did it. I don't know where Mama Bear and the kids are. I'm lost, I'm lost in the Harry Potter shop. Found you. Look how beautiful Hogwarts looks at night, well, dusk. That looks amazing. Oh, look how beautiful that is, Tilly. It is beautiful, isn't it? You're just waiting for your letter delivered by Owl when you are 11. Because you want you really want to go to Hogwarts, don't you? So what have we done? Mama and... So AJ is a bit small for this. He would be freaked out as well. So Mama Bear has taken AJ down to the dinosaur bit, the Jurassic World uh, section of the park and uh, they're gonna have a little look around there while you and I get on board this ride. Uh, it's a 35 minute wait, so it's not too outrageous. And, but again, we can't film it, so, um, so that's that, really. <laughs> Okay. Ride achieved. Feel a little bit dizzy. Again, it's not a ride that you would want to do if you do feel motion sickness. I felt better that time than I did the first time. So that was all right. You were a little bit dizzy as well, weren't you, Tilly? Only a little. Only a little, only a little bit, but it is worth it because the ride is fantastic, isn't yeah. it? It's one of your favorite rides, so. It, it is one of your favorite rides in the entire Universal Park. Right, let's go and find Mama Bear. Heading into Jurassic Park. Yes, this park has become very, 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 very busy since Universal Studios across the way closed at 7 p.m. Understandably, I mean, most people then will just trickle into this one. So yeah, wait times have gone up dramatically, like I stated earlier on. Goodness. Imagine that, like, crashing through your bush. Right, okay. Ah, oh, that's a good ride, by the way. We did that the other day. We thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, right, it is very, very busy. It's very, very late. We are going to start heading out of the park slowly. I mean, if there's something that we see on our way, we might hop in line or, you know, whatever. But uh, I think our day here at 
Universal is just about done. Actually, I, I say if we find anything uh, to do as we leave the park, I actually, uh, I actually am mistaken on that because it's actually five minutes. It's only five minutes before the park closes. So I don't think anything now is gonna be open. You, you can technically hop in line, like literally at like 9.59 or whatever the time is, 8.59, I think it closes at nine. So you, you can jump in line and, they, and you obviously can do the ride, but, um, but no, if, you, if you're in sort of at closing time, then they don't let you on the ride. So yeah, anyway, so we're gonna probably head out. Head out. The park is well and truly closed. All of the rides have now got clothes written on them. So never mind. We will be back to Universal at some point in the future. The adventure lives on. We have had another fantastic day here at Universal Studios Florida. Tilly putting me off in the background. We're gonna leave the video there. I do hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to do all the usual YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, smash the bell. Check us out on all of our socials at the bright side. So from us to you, cheers and gone. Okay, where the heck? Is the car. Don't know where the car is. Okay, that's not it. Okay, I think it's that one in there. Yay, we did it. Okay, even at 10 o'clock at night, the I-4 is mental.